Hey guys, it's Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. So a few videos ago, I got several questions regarding this topic. And as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to insert different types of plugs or tunnels into your stretched ears. The main question that I get is how on earth do you insert double flare plugs or tunnels? Excellent question. At the time I put out that video, which will be up here, it was a body jewelry haul. I personally had never really dealt with double flare jewelry at all, so I really couldn't answer that. But after a few weeks have passed and after being able to use some double flare plugs myself, I feel like I've got a pretty good method for how to get it in. And so for this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to insert single flare plugs or tunnels, double flare plugs or tunnels, screw plugs or tunnels, like ones that I actually screw on, as well as silicone plugs or tunnels. I'm gonna end with the double flare just because that one is a little bit more tricky and takes a little bit more finagling to do. So right now I do have double flares in. These are some weird double flare ones. I love them dearly, but for some reason, they like to fall out in my sleep, which is great fun. Like this one fell out this morning, I woke up and I'm like, oh, there's a hole, where's my jewelry? Good times. So with double flare plugs or tunnels, the idea is that the center part, which I believe is called the saddle, is the actual gauge size. Whereas the double flare part is actually a size bigger. So that's why sometimes people have trouble getting it in or even getting it out. So I'm gonna show you all how to put in and take out these types of jewelry. I'm only gonna show it on one ear though because I don't need to piss both off. So the first one I'm gonna show you how to do are single flare plugs or tunnels. I prefer single flare over anything else. These usually have an O-ring on the back that just holds it in place. I just find these to be probably the easiest ones to put in. I'm gonna zoom you all in a little bit more so that you can see. So right now I have double flare in. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out. See, pops out so easily now. Now, to make the process easier for whatever you're putting in, you can put some kind of lubricant on your lobes. I have found that I prefer putting on bio oil. I made a video on aftercare for stretched lobes. Bio oil is my choice of oil to keep things healthy. I also find that it just makes in certain jewelry a whole lot easier than other things like the butters that you might find um, or like the solid oils. I always just get a little bit on my finger because oil goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. That is a single flare. As you can see, it's only big at one end. Obviously, you put the smaller end in and you just slide it in. There it is. And with single flare, you always wanna make sure that you put an O-ring on there because then you have a bigger possibility of it falling out. Voila. The next one I'm gonna show you is a screw plugger tunnel. So in this case, this is a tunnel. As you can see, this little piece unscrewed from the back part. And so then it becomes a single flare plugger tunnel. But then once it's through, you screw it back onto the back side, and it essentially becomes a double flare. So same principle applies for a single flare because now that the screw part is off, you treat it as such. So you just slide it on through, and instead of putting an O-ring on the back side, you take this little part and screw it onto the back. And so th then it looks like it's a double flare, but it's not, but it is. And so then voila, that is how you do screws. I will say sometimes they're a little finicky to actually screw on the back, especially if you've been using the oils or some kind of lubricant to get them things in your ears. It's just wipe your hands off and try. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna show you are the silicone plugs or tunnels. So I have silicone tunnel right here. As you can see, it squishes, so it makes maneuvering a whole lot easier. It is a double flare, might be hard to see, but it is a double flare. So the fun thing with these are you can squish it around and just kind of pop it into your ear. So once again, I wanna put a little bit of lubricant on there, even though you're not actually pushing a whole object through there at this point. For this, you're gonna end up kind of like squeezing it together. And you can either go front side, back side, back side, front side. I've seen most people go back side, front side. You squeeze it together and then let it kind of like pop into place and like it may take a little bit for it to get its shape back but there we go and it's very comfortable i could see why a lot of people like to just wear this as an everyday thing it's very comfortable it does take a little bit just to make sure that the form gets right because otherwise it may just stick as this the squeezed form that you put it in 
but once you get it situated, it looks pretty good. Feels pretty good too. Nice and lightweight. I can see why people like this a lot. And then to get it out, you can either just pour, push it out like regular jewelry or you could squeeze it again and voila. But the main thing to do with these is that it starts off like this and then you can kind of squeeze it, push it through, and then it'll pop back. Pretty simple. But remember, do not use silicone if your ears are healing. They're not a good material for healing ears. Once it is all healed and everything, go for it. And the final jewelry that I'm gonna show you all is the reason why you are all here, and it is a double flare plugger tunnel and how to get it in. So, sometimes for double flares, you will find that the center part, which is actually the size of your stretch lobe, you will find that the double flare is bigger or it's smaller or what have you. So I'm gonna show you how to put the one in like that I've been wearing recently. It's a much smaller double flare, like the flared part is smaller than other ones. So let me show you a difference. So you see these two pieces, they are both technically double flares, but as you can see, the darker one definitely has a much wider flare than the lighter one. Now, because my ears are still getting used to everything, like it hasn't been that long since I stretched up to 10 millimeter, I am not gonna try with the bigger flares. I'm gonna go with the smaller flares until my ears are truly accepting or stretched or fine with it. So I'm just gonna stick with the smaller flare. So like always, make sure that your, your ear is healthy, make sure that it's lubed up as you need. With a double flare, the best thing that I have found, and this one's gonna pop in easy for me just because I've had it for a while. The best thing to do is, you know how your lobe is very stretchy? You're gonna take your double flare and you're gonna kind of insert the bottom part into the bottom part of the hole. So it's at an angle. And at that time, you're just gonna kind of work your ear around it so that the skin can kind of go over that, that bigger part, that flared part, and get to the saddle, which is what your actual lobe size is. And so as you can see, that one popped in a little bit easier. I would say probably I wouldn't be able to do this kind quite yet just because that's such an extreme flare compared to this. Now I will say, I wake up a lot and this one is like out. It has fallen out just because it's gotten to a point where it's the flare is too small, but this flare is too big. So we're at an in-between right now, but that's basically how you do it, is you take whatever double flare plug or tunnel that you're using. This is the best method that I found, is that you pull down on the lobe and insert like, so if you have it like this, insert one of those flare parts like down here to the bottom of the hole so it's at an angle, and then that way you can kind of like pop it in. Does that make sense? But that's what I have found has been the best method for double flares. So that's just a simple tutorial on how to insert four different types of plugs or tunnels into your stretched ears. Again, most people find that they have difficulty with the double flare plugs or tunnels. Even I have difficulty with them. I have to do like a smaller double flare than the regular kind like that one I showed you. There is a difference, so when you order them, make sure you're looking at kind of what the outer double flare size is because if it's too big, you may not be able to get it in. If you have stretched ears and you've got other methods, especially for double flare plugs or tunnels on how to get them in easily, leave them in the comments below. I know we would all benefit from it. I know I personally would. That's just the, the method that I showed is the one that I found to be the easiest, but if anyone has any other suggestions, leave them below. We would all appreciate it. Also, if you have stretched ears, leave in the comments below like what type of jewelry you like the best. Like, do you like the silicone jewelry because of how easy it is to get in and kind of mess with? Do you like single flares? Do you like the screw-ons? Do you like double flares? Tell us which ones you like the most and why. I personally like single flare just because they're so much easier to deal with. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my stick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>